Hi guys, how's it going? I'm not in my usual filming place. I just wanted to start vlogging a little bit more and kind of show you some of the things that I do in my life that are not really teaching related. So one thing that I'm doing tomorrow is going to a clothing swap with some of my friends from college. So all of us are pretty thrifty for one thing and then concerned about like the footprint that we're making with our clothes and with fashion. Oh, I had to turn up that AC. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're being as responsible as we can with our money and with the planet and being fair to people who actually construct our clothes and make our clothes in other countries. I've mentioned this in many videos at this point, but um, my goal right now is to only buy fair trade clothes or things that are made in the U.S. just so that I know I'm avoiding purchasing anything that was made in sweatshops. I just don't wanna give my money to companies that exploit people like that. So another way that we can get new clothes is just to do a clothing swap. And sometimes you just get sick of things and you just don't want them anymore, or they don't fit anymore. Or you had a baby and now things don't fit the same way. So I feel like most people are just gonna profit from the fact that I can't fit into some of my clothes anymore. So tomorrow I'll take you along for a little bit of that so that you can see it and um, maybe do your own little clothing swap with some people that you know. It's fun and I just feel like it is a good practice to be in, just to kind of think about clothing in a little bit more responsible way. So anyway, I just thought I would show you the things that I'm getting rid of. So this is actually like an anti-haul, all the stuff that's going back out. And if I get anything tomorrow, I will definitely show you that. I generally don't get a whole lot because I'm actually trying to just like minimalize a little bit and get rid of some of the things in my wardrobe. So let me let me show you some of this stuff. I've been like packing this bag for a couple of weeks, months now since we've been planning this and so I don't even remember everything that is in here. All right, we'll start with this. This is just a flannel shirt. I think I got this from Viva La Jules. That was an Instagram account that I followed for a long time. I think I unfollowed it because I'm so tempted by their stuff and it's nothing that I can buy. So I unfollowed a lot of accounts that I, I used to really like. I still do like, but just that, yeah, this is made in China and I don't want to be purchasing things like this anymore, but it is super cute. It's a flannel with like sequins on it little sequin pocket. I loved it while it lasted. The only thing is like my hair and these sequins didn't really get along and I was constantly like getting snagged and stuff. So this isn't something I wear super often anymore. So I'm just going to pass it along. The next thing is kind of a similar type of shirt. It's, you know, got collar and the buttons. I love anything with stripes like this. And actually I kind of like that this is like a tunic bottom. This was from Target, I think. I just don't reach for it super often anymore. I don't know why, but I've had it for a while and I just don't wear it all that much. The next thing is also from Target. This is a shirt that I think like my first year of teaching, I wore all the time. Kind of has like those dolman sleeves and then um, it's a little bit tighter at the bottom. I love this. It's still totally my style. I just have a couple other shirts that are really similar. I was trying to just get rid of duplicates but I think it's something somebody else could use. The next thing, I really like this shirt. I got this at a, a little boutique called Suo. So it's this like orange and white striped shirt and it says, hello, it's long sleeved, like really thin. Um, this just always like stands out so much in my closet. Cause I have mostly like gray and white and black and I don't, I don't wear a ton of like bright colors like this. I wore this a few times for teaching and I thought it was like really cheerful but I just don't reach for it all that much because it's it's not really me. Okay, this shirt is kind of similar. Where is this from? The Limited. And I like the Limited's style for teacher clothes, but again, this one is made in China. Um, this is actually a really nice sweater. It's really long. It's kind of more of like a tunic length. And then it had a boat neck and like braids on the top. Kind of different, just like a really cozy sweater in navy. It was perfect for teaching, but it's actually not cold enough to wear something like this very often and so it just again wasn't something i really reached for all that often so i'm getting rid of it here's something else this is from charlotte Russe. i actually really like this and i would keep it but um it's a little too small now this is a size small and this is like a tunic dress it's just gingham um the sleeves like you can roll them you know like up to your elbows it's got a little collar i think this was really fun to wear in the fall for teaching with like some leggings and some boots and it's absolutely adorable it's just that these buttons 
don't stay buttoned sometimes because my hips are a little bit wider after having a baby so somebody else can wear it though see this is another oh this is forever 21 actually this is a dress that i got a lot of use out of when i was pregnant because it's like that midi length i love this it's just a striped um navy and white dress with three quarter length sleeves and i loved this when i was pregnant i had enough room in there for my belly and everything but it's not very structured so now that i'm not pregnant anymore and my stomach is not so flat it's kind of obvious in this so i just always feel a little bit uncomfortable like i'm always kind of covering my tummy when I wear it. And so I, I wanna get rid of anything that I, I don't feel totally comfortable in. Here's another dress that I liked in theory. Where is the top? Oh, okay. This one is actually made in the US. I, I bought this um, for December. I think I, I wore it during December a few times. So it has like this mock neck and then it's sleeveless and it's kind of like a swing dress. And I love the idea of this. I love that it's made in the US. I love that it's gray. It just like didn't suit me very well. Like every picture that I saw of myself in it, I was like, oh, I just, I just don't look that good in it. So I think this is really cute though. And somebody else will like it for sure. Here's a dress from Old Navy and oh, I love Old Navy dresses. They do great dresses. It's just that they have terrible labor practices. They're like constantly getting in trouble for that. So ugh, it kills me to not shop at Old Navy anymore, but I don't. Um, I did love this dress though. This is another like, it's not three quarter length, but just kind of longer, long short sleeves. Um, and then this is like down to the knee. Actually, the material is pretty thick. This is just a really, really good teaching dress. But again, it's a size small and it's just a little bit tight in my midsection and I don't feel all that comfortable wearing it. So I think there are a lot of girls um, at the swap tomorrow that could use it. A lot of the girls are like teachers or social workers and so I would say, you know, those two jobs have like similar dress codes. So I'm sure somebody can use it. Um, this dress is also from Old Navy and it has that same nice material. I really like it. Um, but again, this just looked cuter on me before my baby. <laughs> and um, it is, you know, a little brighter color and a brighter print. And so this is a dress I, I don't feel like drawing attention to myself in since, um, it, it hugs some of the wrong places now. Cute though, very cute. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, this is just another shirt that I had for a really long time. I don't know where this is from, where I got it, but um, it's just a black shirt that looked really good with like pencil skirts. So I used to wear a lot of pencil skirts and then just tops like this. And I just don't really dress like that anymore. I don't know why, I could. Um, but my style has just evolved a little bit. So since I don't wear it very much, I'm just going to get rid of it. What else do we have here? Oh, okay. I love this dress. It's very confusing though. This is, it's a, a really strangely cut dress, but I love the print. Um, it's like off the shoulder, like off one shoulder. It's all kind of tilted. It's like dolman sleeves on this side and then just a regular sleeve on this side. <laughs> it's really kind of strange, but it looks super cute on. I used to wear it um, on like our date nights and stuff really often. But again, like you have to have kind of the body to pull it off. And um, you know, it's just time to move on. I, I got a lot of use out of it. I loved it. I've got some really cute pictures in it, but you know, we'll get new dresses now. Also in this bag, I have bags, um, just things that I really don't use all that much anymore. I really like this kind of mini backpack with the bow on it. I got this at Kohl's. I remember that I brought this with me when I went to Washington DC to do my research for my masters and it was really handy. Um, it's just like a little bit of a weird size now. Like I need it to either be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So someone else might want to use it. I also used to really love this bag um, by Olivia and Joy. Olivia and Joy is one of my favorite like bag companies. I usually get it either at Macy's or um, like TJ Maxx or something. And it's just kind of a cool shape, but red wasn't really a color that I could wear often. It's nice and roomy though, and I just feel like somebody else should be using it instead of it sitting in my closet. So this was actually another shirt that's made in the US that I was really excited about getting. It has like these ruffle sleeves. It just is another one of those shirts though that just doesn't look that great on me. The color doesn't do much for me and it just doesn't really hang right on me. So while I love it in theory, 
it probably will look better on somebody else. Ooh, yeah, this guy. This is something that was taking up a lot of space in my closet. I love the look of it. It's super comfy. It's just one of these like really big kind of like blanket cardigans. It's just that there's only like five days out of the year when I could ever wear this. Because in LA, it just rarely gets cold enough to wear this. Sometimes I wear it when I like go visit my family in Northern California in the winter time, but it just feels weird to keep something that I would literally maybe wear like two days out of a year. Here's a little t-shirt that I'm just gonna give away. This is from Madewell, and I actually love Madewell t-shirts, but the ones that I like are the V-neck, and I think I thought I was ordering a V-neck one, and then this one just, the cut is a little bit different, and it just doesn't really sit right on me. The reason that I got this color was because our school colors are yellow and navy, and so as a teacher, it's a little tip, it's just nice to have like just plain t-shirts that are not as casual, like not like a big huge t-shirt, but just kind of like a fitted t-shirt in your school colors if you ever want to wear that on like spirit day or something. Um, but this one just fits me kind of funny. It's like a little bit too short and then the sleeves are a little bit too baggy. So kind of want to get another one in the same color, but the, the other cut that I like better. I think I just ordered the wrong one. This is a shirt that I've had forever. I wore this a lot like my first year teaching. Um, it's just a sleeveless like button down tank top with these pearls on the collar. And I loved this and I wore it all the time with like a, a tank top underneath. And I would wear it like with slacks and wedges. And I loved it, but again, that was just like kind of how I used to dress and I don't really dress that way anymore. I have pictures of myself in it that I love and I think are so cute, but my style's just evolved a little bit. I feel like I keep saying that, but you know, I just turned 31 and I'm in what, like my sixth year of teaching. I'm a mom now. So there are just some things, some clothing items that don't last forever, even though you enjoyed them while they lasted. This was another thing like that. Like I love pineapples. I think this is super cute, um, but I tried it on the other day to wear it and it just like was a little bit small. There aren't too many occasions when I'd wear it. So getting rid of that. This is another made in the US item that I'm sad to get rid of. Sometimes I just see things that are made in the United States and I'm like, yes, okay, I'm gonna buy that because I don't find very much. And then I don't end up really loving it. So this is like a long slouchy cardigan and kind of like a muted seafoam mint green color. And this would look really good if I were like quite tall and quite slim. And there are a few people who are gonna be at the swap tomorrow that I think this would just look really awesome on. Since I'm pretty short, like it looks a little bit like dumpy on me. I just, I look a little bit homeless. But on somebody that is like tall and has like broad shoulders, if they were wearing all black and then they put this over it, I think it would look really chic. It just doesn't look chic on me. Oh yeah, okay, I don't know if anyone's gonna want this, but this is just like a cami that has little glitter on it. Just a little bit young for me now. And then this is the last thing. This is a dress that I've had for a really long time, actually. I got a lot of use out of this, and I really, really loved it. It's kind of like a cream white color, and then it just has these embroidered flowers on it. It fits really well, actually. It's just kind of like a different dress, but it's just another one of those things where I had it for a long time. I wore it many times. Very cute, but just now, you know, I've, I've got other dresses, and so I don't reach for that one as often anymore. So I guess that was kind of my criteria, like things that I didn't feel completely comfortable in or I had just, you know, enjoyed for long enough and now I felt like it was time to pass them on or things that, that don't really fit or look good on me anymore. So um, yeah, it actually feels so nice to have less in my closet and like less options to look at. So even tomorrow when everything's free, I don't want to take too much because I, I just want things that are going to go with other things in my closet that are going to fit me nicely and that I can get a lot of use out of. So I will take you along with me to the swap and then I'll show you anything that I get. So I'll see you tomorrow.